Welcome everyone to Aussie Scrapper. Today's video is a haul video and the reason why I treated myself this time it's because Santa Claus tends to not usually bring me anything for Christmas and that's okay because it is all about the children and he's, and he's a good Santa and he of course spoils the children. So I decided well I've worked hard this year and you know I'll treat myself. So I did. I will start by showing you the few little things that I got from Spotlight. It wasn't a lot. I didn't go there for scrapbooking supplies. I went there for other bits and pieces for Christmas. And, of course, I couldn't resist a few little things. So I bought them, as you do. So I will get the boring stuff over and done with first. And I have to organise all my embroidery threads and everything. So I found these um, birch, uh, they call them floss cards, and they're actually plastic. I was going to make a whole heap in uh, cardboard, but I thought, no, these plastic ones would last longer and keep my threads better organised. So it's a pack of 50, and I thought, yep, that's a good idea because where I have all my embroidery threads and lace and everything it's a real mess like that drawer is overflowing and you can never find anything in it so it's going to be one of the things I'm going to tackle in the new year then I found these lovely Kaisercraft wooden flourishes and that one there that I'm showing you now is called life is a beach And this one here is called Bloom and it's got some lovely butterflies and love hearts and flowers and yep, I love the Kaisercraft wooden, wooden flourishes. They seem to always just be the perfect thing that I'm always looking for. So they're going into my stash. I was lucky to pick up these thickers that um, are called Giggles from American Crafts. Plain white, but look, on sale for $5. Now tell me, who can say no to that? So they went into my lovely little trolley. And I also picked up some embroidery threads to add to my little collection. My next shop is the Scrapbook Cottage at Castle Hill. It's a lovely little scrapbook shop. It's got the cutest little things that you can pick up there but I did constrain myself and I only got what I could see that essentials and I must confess I'm in love with distress oxides so I bought a few to add to my collection I got the spiced marmalade then I got the uh, what was it the salty ocean I love that color isn't it just beautiful my third choice was the colour Antique Linen and this colour is absolutely gorgeous. I just cannot wait to play with it. I'm so in love with it. So I was very proud of myself for limiting myself to only three Distress Oxides. My next thing that I could not resist was this lovely stencil by Carter Bella and I believe it's called Haunted Houses and I just... I oomed and um for a while, I put it down and then it kept calling me, so yes, I had to put it into my little basket. I love those little witch's broomsticks there. So in love with this stencil. And my next little thing that went into my basket is these lovely this lovely stamp set from Ranger, um Dilutions, and it is called Right Between the Lines. And I just loved it for journaling. It's got the lines there when you want a little bit of, you know, you don't really want to draw some lines. I just think they're going to look beautiful on some scrapbook layouts. I just cannot wait to play with them. So, yeah, that was um, another thing that tempted me to buy it. If you're ever in the Castle Hill area, please stop into the scrapbook cottage. They've got some amazing little things there, some great buys, and you never know what you're going to find there. And also Spotlight's just around the corner and it's a huge Spotlight with a really good craft section. So now my next buy was this chipboard, um, yeah, chipboard F 
what's it called again? Oh gosh, Scrap FX. And these are made in Australia and the chipboard just says show rides. So I thought that would be appropriate when I'm doing some layouts on now the Easter show or the Hawkesbury show or any other show rides that we might go on. Now this is just some phrase stickers from Studio Calico. I can't really work out what they're called. It's got number 59 there, it's got seven paper, but I'm not really sure what um, collection they're from or anything like that. I couldn't find anything, but they're a lovely gold, gold type or, yeah, gold type. And it must be for if you've got cats because a lot of the sayings there are cat related like meow, furry, kitten, um, I think your perfect was one of them as well. Oh, there it is. So we do have a cat and it's my girl, little girl's best friend. So I'm sure I will find a lot of use for this one. And these labels from real life labels they're from, they were only a dollar. And they're just summer themed words. So there's beach and poolside and all sorts of summary summary words. Gosh, I can't even think tonight. It's it's the heat. It's 43 degrees today and I am boiling. And this is the reason why I went to the scrapbook cottage because I was running low on some card stocks. So I needed some blues and greens and yeah, exciting stuff. But we always need our card stock. It's confession time now and I must admit that as much as I like to shop within Australia, I actually went to scrapbook.com to get these products. I did try to get these two sets within Australia, but all the online stores that I tried and a few other shops, they all said that their supplier couldn't get this in for me. So I went to scrapbook.com. Now this is the set of three Patina Effect Paste by Prima. So it's from Prima Finnebear and I must admit I cannot wait to play with this product. I do have a project in mind so hopefully I'll be able to get that started sometime in the new year. And this first colour is Brass followed by the beautiful colour Blue. And then there is this mint green colour. And that's the three for the patina paste. Now this is the second set that I wanted to, to get. And it's also a set of three. Also from Prima Finna Bear. And these are the rust effect paste. And that well, the first one was gold. And then there's this red rust. And then there's this uh, brown rust. So what a shame I couldn't get them within Australia. But for whatever reason, um, I couldn't get find anyone that stocked them here. And so I had to go to scrapbook.com. But I cannot wait to get my project started. So since I was already buying something from them, I thought I'd get my money's worth from the front. And I picked up these lovely sequins. I absolutely love them. They're just such a great colour. One thing I will say for scrapbook.com is that their freight was very reasonable. And my goodies came really quickly. I expected them to take a lot longer being quite so close to Christmas. But they only took about a week and a half, I think it was. It wasn't long at all. I also picked up these because the alphabet alignment tool. So I'm hoping to get a little bit more creative with my titles and not just have them in the straight line anymore since these guides will help me make some Wonderful creative titles in anything other than a straight line. So there's a circle, a oval, a bigger circle and a, is that a pentagon? I can't see how many sides they've got. But anyway, um, yes, that should be fun to play with. Now this 6x6 uh, six six booklet, paper booklet from Kaiser Craft, I did not actually purchase it. It was one of their free gifts that they threw in and it's called Old Mac and I absolutely love it and considering that I live in a rural area 
it is just so appropriate because farm life is really the best and it is all about farm life and um, yeah we love where we live and we love our sheep and at the moment I just wish that it will rain because well there's not much feed for our lovely sheep at the moment so we've had to resort to buying lucerne and hay and all sorts of things pellets and yeah otherwise they're going to starve so hopefully the rains will come very soon but look at those papers they're absolutely beautiful i i just love them all and yeah i was really impressed with this little booklet and appropriately old mac i mean how ironic is that that they just got it down to a t so well Look at that, isn't that beautiful, that paper, wow. So yes, I was very impressed with this little free gift. I just wish that this paper had more sheep in it because we um, don't really have cows. I mean, other places have far, um, on their farms have cows, but we are a sheep people. But anyway, really, really love this paper pad and I'm going to get so much use out of it when I'm scrapbooking the kids playing and getting dirty and all sorts of things I just love it and I love that little one that says saddle up because I've got some beautiful photos of my little girl riding her riding the horse just love it love it cannot wait to play with it all so everyone I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas and thank you for supporting my little channel and till next time bye